Yo, what's going on guys? It is Cynical, and today for you guys, we got some Kingdom Hearts 3 news and information. It feels like a little while since I last uh, reported in some Kingdom Hearts 3 news and information. Now, today's news and information is going to be something that can be taken um, in, you know, a few different ways. Um, first of all, it might seem like a negative, but then again, this actually might be a positive, and I want to explain those. So, you guys can probably tell by the title, Square Enix are still recruiting people for the development of Kingdom Hearts 3. Now, for me, when I first saw this, I was like, dude, I, are, you, are you fucking twisting a, a, a chimpanzee's left nipple? Like, are you, are you serious, man? Are you, are you playing with me? You're still in the process? of recruiting people for the development and the production of this fucking game. And one comment that I saw on Twitter, because I actually posted this out on Twitter, is uh, one guy was like, we're probably going to have grey hairs before we receive this game. And I just laughed my ass off when I saw that comment. Um, so yeah, at first I was a little bit like, okay, this is, this is ridiculous. Like, we're, we're never going to get this game. But then I kind of looked into it. And I thought to myself, well, you know, if you think about it, the more people that Square Enix have on their team developing this game equals faster development as well as faster production. And I think that is actually the situation right here. Let's go through some of the roles that they are currently recruiting people for. And keep in mind, these roles are actually very, very important. You guys, you know, you'll see them on screen right now. So these are the different positions that are currently available. Our first one is cutscene designer, scenario uh, planner, menu designer, character model designer, 3D graphics programmer, um, technical artist, battle planner, level planner, 3D CG designer, art designer, and game programmer. So most of those roles are vital importances to the development of like any game. Doesn't it's not just Kingdom Hearts 3, like game programmer, 3D CG designer for those CG cutscenes, um, battle and level planner, technical artist, uh, character model designer, like all those different roles are highly, highly important. Now when you read this, you're probably thinking to yourself, well, do, you know, do Square Enix not actually have these type of people already aboard on their team? No, I don't doubt that. I, I believe that Square Enix do have people who are currently in these different positions, but I feel as if Square Enix are currently recruiting out to get more of those people who specialize in those different categories just to kind of have more help on their team because... At the end of the day, more people equals, like I mentioned, faster development. And who doesn't like faster development? I think Square Enix actually know that people want Kingdom Hearts 3. Um, we definitely know that 2.8 is going to be, uh, you know, 2016's Kingdom Hearts game. And they have actually confirmed that Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to be the game that we're going to be getting after the release of 2.8, which kind of semi what means probably 2017 is well, most likely going to be the year that we receive Kingdom Hearts 3. That is, of course, fingers crossed, right? So maybe they're in this position where they're like, okay, we need more people on our team, we need more people to support the development of this game so that we can aim for the year that we're aiming for, so let's send out more recruitments and stuff. That's kind of how I'm seeing it, you know, like, at first I was like, holy shit, Square, are, are you playing with me? Like, are you playing with my failings right now? Do you not have these type of people on your team? No, of course they do. They, they definitely have people who are, you know, um, skilled with cutscene and designs and menu designs, but I just feel as if this is a recruitment to get more of those people who specialize in those different fields of development as well as production. So um, anyway guys, I wanted to just get this news out to you. It's actually pretty damn interesting, um, and it's actually been a little while since we last uh, received anything to do with kind of Kingdom Hearts 3. So what do you guys think about this? Do you think this is a good or bad thing? Personally, I'm looking in it from the sense of a positive aspect. More people, faster goodness is, is basically how I'm kind of seeing it. So um, be sure to leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. And until next time, guys, I'll catch you later. Peace.